Jesus, grant me the strength to carry this cross you have asked me to bear. Allow for hope for better days, whether in this life or the next. I ask for healing in any way you see fit and in conformity to your will. And please allow those around me to adapt to the challenges this cross presents. I ask this in your name. Amen. You know, illness can shake your world up in a way that little else can. It's the worst kind of entity because it's a taker. It takes a little bit of your physical being every day. But where it fails and where it's flawed is it cannot touch your soul, and it cannot, if you let it, defeat your spirit. Um, I have an amazing wife, and she said from the beginning to me, she said, I'm not treating you like a patient. So she said, look, we're broken hard, but we're not broken. We still have we still have friends, we still have intellect, we still have emotions. There is so much more that we can do with our life, and we chose not to let sadness and despair dominate our thoughts and try to look at our blessings, and I have to give her credit for that. I would say the past years, I've lived incredibly well in terms of being around family, relationships, I've gone to Hawaii, I've always wanted to go there. I saw Billy Joel, and I never saw Billy Joel. So yeah, it's been great to experience a lot of those things. Dear Bob Stan, you and your guests are virtually invited to a private screening of It's a Wonderful Life. <laughs> It's a great gift, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I also traveled to the Holy Land. I was raised Catholic, and that was incredible. I've been to Lourdes, France on a spiritual uh, mission. That was incredible. I think my faith has always been strong. I think when you're faced with something like this, I think you either run to your faith or run away. So we chose to run to our faith, so. Bob, say hi. Hi, everyone. Here I am going in the Dead Sea. OK, Here go ahead. Go. Here he goes. Uh, just had our first dinner with the group. It was great. <laughs> they have great stuff, all like Abba Colburn um, hummus. Excellent stuff. Uh, yeah, excellent stuff. It's like Abba. The fact that you know, my kids are doers, and they're not going to sit back and say, what can we do? Uh, my friends are doers. My kids' friends are doers. Sometimes the millennial generation gets a bad rap, but not in my experience. And Team Senate here today is represented by an incredible group of young people um, who have trained hard. Some have never run a marathon. Um, and their generosity and their commitment and their love for me and my son is just incredibly moving. And I love you all. And I know you're going to do a great job. And then my friends have been amazing in their support of me. Bless you, Father of Life, source of goodness and peace. The network of friends I have and what they're willing to do. Even though my life has changed drastically, it's given me the opportunity to uh, deepen relationships, create new relationships, and rekindle old ones. I mean. That kind of stuff I, has been really positive in my life. And I have probably said, I love you more in the past two years than I did my whole life. Oh, it's good to see you. Oh, good to see you. Love you too. That's the best flight for her all day. See that? When that happened, Trish and I uh, decided early on there were certain things we could control and some things we couldn't. And then the thing that, that uh, we could really anticipate was the incredible support I got from my family. I'm one of seven, and my wife is one of eight. And uh, the, the support we've had is amazing. And uh, it's, it's made this journey, uh, I would say, a little bit easier. We weren't going to let sadness and despair dominate our day. And we know that the happiest, health, healthiest people we know choose to celebrate their blessings and not their miseries.
in a bar. <laughs> in Philly, it was on South Street, Bob Pantano's dance party. Somewhere. She needed a ride home, so I gave her a ride home. Well, from there, it just, uh, you know, we were just, it was, we both knew early on, and we were together almost every day. I, Patricia, take you, Robert, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. You know, these past couple of years have been not easy. Um, and you've been incredibly giving to all of us, but especially me. I love you very much. I love you very much, too. I grew up in a, a nice family. I said, you know, I want to have a family. Christmas is our love. We, go, we get we get out, check our stockings, peek, think we can come into your room, wake you up. You can change, come downstairs, go downstairs first, make all the noises we can doubt. Okay. Okay. Yep, well, good night, here we go. Night, Dad. Here we go, we gotta go, bye-bye. I used to love taking you guys out on the Halloween. Here we are, Halloween night. Hi, guys. Hi, Dad. Said, you only have so much time in the day, right? So I was glad to spend it with you guys. I always want them to always try to be better. Don't settle for where they are right now. I know that these guys are always going to be supportive of one another, and they will love each other always, and uh, that makes me feel really good. Be grateful for what you have. I think gratitude is a, a, a powerful emotion, and that's something that I've learned to really, really um, appreciate. I've been... Uh, I have so much gratitude for the people in my life. I think take advantage of all the things you can each day. It's easy to say, oh, don't let the little things bug you, but it's true. I mean, I don't have the opportunity to worry about two, three years from now. So I have to get the best of every day that I can, and that's what I try to do. So take the time to love those around you um, and be grateful for the things you have in your life, I think. I do believe that um, you know, there is a better place than here. Uh, even though my life has been great, um, and that, that keeps me going, I do believe that there's a better place, and I do believe in heaven, and I do believe it's a, a place of peace and contentment, um, and a place where you can be surrounded by all the people you've loved in your life. So I do believe in that. this day. I am so, so happy and proud to call you my full son. It's been a great run and we really, really appreciate all you guys sharing this with us. And I know there's one person who really appreciates it and that's Steven. He's so excited to see you guys. Oh, <laughs> 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 cool. <laughs>